Good day! Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari ST Gameplay. Uh, I have not made very many Atari ST videos yet, uh, but that's not because I don't love the system. I had an Atari, in fact I still have my Atari ST and uh, an STE I believe that I bought later on. Uh, they're boxed up and they're over there in a room on the other side of that room where I'm pointing, which is my furnace and water heater room, such as it is. Very, very exciting indeed. I, uh, I actually went over just now to my channel on the web page and I was going to see how many ST games I actually put into this anything here. What have I got? Atari. Atari games? Where's the ST game playlist? Apparently I haven't done an ST game for a long time. Oh, there we go. Oh, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the... <laughs> this is my second Atari ST gameplay video. Welcome. Alright, so this is one that uh, I did actually play quite a bit on the ST, although I'm seeing levels here that I don't believe I ever got to. Um, and the reason it came back to mind is that uh, I, I came across it on the Atari 8-bits and I had no idea that was ever a thing. So um, I decided to seek it out on the ST and uh, give it a go here. So, uh, wow, there's a... Okay, I'm just gonna press the old ye olde... Oh, how do you start this game? Uh, Spacebar, okay. Mouse trap logo in the... Oh, I remember this. I totally remember this. Don't touch the flowers, I'm pretty sure. Don't fall too far, don't touch the flowers. Don't touch anything, basically. Now, having recently played the 8-bit version, these levels are... In fact, not the same, which is interesting to me. I, I wonder if the and he climbs through the mouse door. Nice. I wonder if the uh, the uh, game, the levels on the 8-bit correspond with levels on this, or if they're just completely different. The mechanics are the same. Graphics considerably less good, obviously. Um, so, don't let the big nose guy touch you through the through the archways there. I guess he must reach out and kill you. Can't jump that high. M and T for mouse trap. Very nice. Can I jump on that? Yes, I can. Good. Collect the balloons. Avoid everything else. Oh, and these are collapsing flags. Right, 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 right. That's level two. Is that level two? I think that's level two. Okay. Teacup, snail, clouds, flowers are bad. Jam, jars, and strawberries. Lovely. Now, uh, jump, I guess. Ooh. How do I get off of here without hitting the flower? I don't think I can. Oh, well, maybe if I walk off. Nope. I don't. You can't do it from too high, though, for sure. Hey, that worked. Okay. Now, I have to get down to... Oh, the door would be last, obviously. Okay, there's two strawberries on the right. Let's, uh, let's figure that out, shall we? Okay, that was easy. I think that's too far to fall. There we go. And now we need to avoid Mr. Snail. Okay, not as hard as all that. Oh, we gotta... Of course, we still have to get through avoiding the teacup. All right. Hey, I just noticed there is a timer countdown thing. There. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing in this game. There's a constant pressure of the timer. <laughs> the bomb fuse on the right there. Uh, fish bowls, I guess we're collecting here. Oh, that's too far. Lovely. Uh, so I guess we go down there. Contr 
controls are a little finicky, which I just ran into on the old 8 bits as well. In the context of interacting with the environment, they are a little finicky. However, having recently played it, I guess I'm kind of used to the idea. Oh, ooh, that was close. One more fishbowl. Gotta avoid... Wow, Greeny Big Nose is an interesting creature now that I'm looking at him. Two... two legs. Uh, how tall is Greeny Big Nose? Taller than the platform. Okay, so what do you do? Do you jump him? How would you jump him? Oh. Why? Okay, let me try something here. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I get, oh shoot. I guess you have enough time. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I think I have the idea of how to. Whoops. How to beat this level. You do get a short interval there when Greeny Big Nose walks up before he reappears. So, oh, dang it! <laughs> Just within reach of uh, the little flying jack in the box there. Jack without a box. <laughs> The Jack without a box. Jack is off his box. Jack off his box. That it sounds dirty. But that's not how I meant it. Why would I mean anything dirty? That would be... That would be contrary to uh, publishing videos that are suitable for minors, which I don't actually claim to do, so there you go. There you go. Oh my god, I thought I was clear. That is not annoying at all. Oops, 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 maybe I wait up here. Go, 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 go! Get the fishbowl, run, 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 run! Don't hit the flower. Get out of the way of the jack-in-the-box, and go. Alright, I wonder if you get extra meese. Alien, with a bouncing thorax, I'm gonna say. What are those? Teeth. Those look like teeth. For some reason that's perhaps mildly disturbing. Okay. This doesn't look too difficult, actually. There we go. Uh, skull is a ghosty house. Very... Oh, don't jump into the skull. Don't jump into the flying skull. Pro tip. Pro tip. I see I left the floppy indicator on that screen in the upper right there. I thought that would only appear when when it was lit. Oh my god. Okay, do I get to... it doesn't tell me to type, but I know from experience that... You only get eight letters on this game. You get nine in the 8-bit version. Not this many. Nine. You get nine letters for your name in the 8-bit version. Okay, let's give this another go. Ooh, I thought I maybe uh, was too close to that flower. Those piston things, piston smashers, bloody, I might add. <laughs> bloody piston smashers are uh, nicely animated. <laughs> nicely drawn, nicely animated. Okay. Stay out of the way. Oh, Mr. Big Nose is a different color on this screen than he is in the other one. I guess it's his cousin. Oh 
maybe it's her. Maybe it's her cousin. Who am I to judge? Big nose, two arm leggedy creatures. Who am I to judge indeed? God, I hope that music isn't too loud. I fear it might be. Let me crank that down just a smidge. Not annoying at all, that music. I mean, it's alright, but highly repetitive. If I remember rightly, learning to walk off of things versus jumping off of them is key to... Oh, for crying out loud. Maybe I should go around to the left instead of uh, trying to walk off the cloud, because that seems to be a pretty finicky maneuver. Let's try that this time, shall we? No! Oh, jeez, I almost... I, th I thought I had walked off without meaning to. Alright, that worked nicely. Just avoid Monsieur or Snail. What is Snail? Oh, Escargot, of course. En Francais. Alrighty, I think I had some learnings on this one. Took me a while to get past it. Hopefully I can put them all into practice and get by it on my first go. Oh, that was dumb. Why, why did I do that? I rushed it. I rushed it. Uh, so one of the things that's mildly annoying is that you, when you want to jump from a standing, jump to the left or right from a standing start, you have to uh, basically press the direction and the jump button at the same time. Which is a little finicky. Okay, alright, so here we wait until Mr. or Ms. Big Nose Greeny Creature goes by, then we run, 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 or walk, as the case may be, because you're a mouse and you're not in that big of a hurry. Try not to get caught. There we go. I actually have a couple of mice left, so that's nice. Hopefully I won't screw this one up. I think the danger would be not getting your jumps in on these uh, collapsing platforms. What? Are you kidding me? I guess that's a danger. I guess that's a danger. Did I get an extra mouse there at a thousand points? I wonder. I feel like I had two mice the last time I looked. And I've definitely died since then. Okay, walk and immediately turn around and walk. Okay. Right, here's where I met my untimely end last time. Okay, good thing that cloud's moving fast. The ghost is coming back, and I feel like he does not have my health as one of his top priorities. Oh, whoops, what happened? Ah, oh, that wasn't, that was, what the, what? How is that a thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm stuck. Ooh, God. <laughs> stuck inside the, the level scenery. That's uh, not a good way to meet your doom, is it? Whoa. What do we got here? We got a fish, we got a cloud, we got stalactites all over the place. Should I... Oh, they're collapsing stalactites, no less. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Haha. <laughs> take that, you dumb game. Ooh, we have stinky cheese and a flying wheel of death, presumably, that is just missing me. 
Okay, let's see here. And a smasher, a bloody smasher. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. Not too bad. Now we need to get on the El Claudo. Jeez, that mousetrap logo in the top right is bouncing a little, a little frenetically to say the least. Can I get the thing from here? Oh yeah, nice. Hello, smashy smasher. So what's hard about this? Oh, these... oh crap. Oh crap, hitting the smasher for starters. Got too cocky there. I, I can't imagine you can jump through the smasher uh, shaft. That wouldn't seem reasonable. So let me try that again without getting squished. Ta-da! I avoided the stinky cheese. Oh, what are we collecting here? Milk jugs? Or amphorae, I guess, based on the theme? This is interesting. Uh, there's the one at the bottom. That seems like the trick. Although, are those all to be collected? They are. And those collapse, as I suspected they might. Oh, oh, are, oh, are you kidding me? Looks like you do get an extra mouse at, uh, yeah, per thousand, which is interesting. Alright, let me see if I can get on the other side of Mr. No! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, so one of the things about a game like this is that you sort of learn, and then you fail, and then you... And then, oh my god. I feel like I want to reset the game. So, I've just confirmed that those flowers are in fact deadly, which I was pretty sure was the case anyway. Those, uh, what do you call those things? The, uh, the lattices aren't, aren't always collapsible, but sometimes they are. In that last level that I... Or the second last level, besides the one that I just failed on, they were collapsible. Yeah, I wonder, can you turn this music off? Oh, you can. Oh, thank God. I just hit the M key on a on a on a suspicion. Okay, that that's an improvement. I mean, now you're not going to hear much besides my my mellifluous voice, but um, that music was really starting to get to me. Okay, very few sounds other than the music and the bouncing, uh, bouncing of the mouse and picking up and presumably dying. And is there a you win the level sound? I'm not sure. Ding when you pick up something. Boing when you when you jump. Sort of a whew, whew. Why am I describing the sounds? You can hear them. <laughs> you can actually hear them. Hopefully you can hear them. No, there's no getting off the level sound. Wow, it's pretty minimal other than the music, isn't it? I can see why they put music in, I guess. Oh, crap. I thought I was done there for a sec. Alright, Mr. Flying Jack. You're not in your box. Why aren't you in your box? You should really go back to your box, man. Okay. I think... Oh, maybe I'm not. That's what I thought before, that I was clear there. And, I, and it turns out I wasn't, like, twice. Okay, big nose goes by, and we walk casually to the fishbowl. We pick up the fishbowl, and we, whoops, we return to our platforms, and we leave the level without any sound effects. No sound effects for the fuse, burning down, nothing. I feel like they didn't actually try very hard with the sound. I 
guess there's a little more to that jump sound than I at first thought. So left and then right. There we go. And I believe I got an extra mouse. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, there's a little doodle at the end of the jump, just which is all right, just fine. Okay, skull with an axe in the head. That's that's uh, not disturbing at all. And a flashing eye socket for some reason. Okay, this one I got by the first time without too much trouble, and that might have just been a fluke, because I'm now going to die. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm going to die. Oh, shpoopers. Shpoopers. Well, I got past it the first time on pure luck. I wonder if you can make that cloud. That would certainly help, wouldn't it? That would certainly help. Let me try that. There we go. Okay, note to self, cloud. Although I think this is going to be my my last kick at this one, this game. For now, who knows? I'll, I might play this again. I might well play this some more one day. Probably not on video, though. All right, so I should be able to get past this level. Weirdly Christmassy level, maybe? Bells. I guess that's the only thing Christmassy about it. Bells with ribbons. Try not to uh, touch the cheese. Walk across and fall down. And then walk. Dun da da, dun da da da. Right, chugs, which I failed miserably on last time. This is where I met my horrid, horrid fate. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I think what did I fail on? I just I hit the ball, didn't I? I jumped into it actually. Can I fall to the door? Yes, I can. All right. Ooh, we're how fast? Oh, nope. Sorry, Mr. Snail. I mean, why am I apologizing to the snail that's undoubtedly going to kill me? A fine question. There we go. Did it. Ooh, spiders galore. And my cord for my joypad and my gamepad is getting stuck in my wheels of my chair and my feet. Okay, so it looks like a straightforward path here. Uh, let's just go for it. And we're collecting blue things. Oops. Oh, that was weird. Oh, dag narbit. That was dumb. Uh, I think I'm going to have to jump across to the right. Or maybe walk across to the right. Walk across. Nice. It's actually less hard than... I was thinking. How high does it... Oh, 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 the spider touched my tail and killed me, did he? That makes perfect sense. Alright, um, let's try that again. I was going to see how high the cloud goes before I went on it. Oh, maybe you could get killed by that spider? Not sure. So I think at some point, I'm, well, maybe not. Oh, geez, that was, yes, I could have died there easily. Okay, so we got to time these up and down and side to side bit business. All right, here we go. Right now, go, go, oh, shit. Ha ha, take that. Take that, game. Owls, I assume I'm collecting, oh, missiles. Or bombs, I guess. Not so much missiles. Bombs. Does it always fall in the same spot? Oh, the umbrellas are jumpy dealies. Interesting. Oh, maybe they're not. Ah, crap. 
but it bounced me. So do they only bounce you when you jump on them from above? Is that the deal? Okay, that didn't work. Oh, and now I'm done. Oh, I was so close to another mouse, too. All right, that is going to do it for my look at Mousetrap on the Atari SD. Can I not get an exclamation mark? How do you get an exclamation mark on the SD keyboard? Oh, I don't know how to get an exclamation mark on the SD keyboard. Okay, never mind. Distractions. Roberto is my name. Nice cover, nice title screen, I mean. Micro value. All right. Slide up to the camera like this, because I know everyone loves that when I do it. It's my the most favorite thing people request on my channel is to see inside my nose. But not really. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. For sure. Take care. Bye-bye.